What's up, y'all? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy. We're back at it. A lot going on. I want to say rest in peace to Mr. Floyd. Um, tragic, tragic, tragic. This right here, we're going to get right to the meat. I heard the uh, mayor speaking in Minnesota. I think I even seen the governor may have popped on the microphone and said some things. But see, you asking for peace. You are complaining about the riots. You are upset that your city has been burning. You want the peace back. I, I heard you say that the people that are doing this, they're terrorists. They don't mean no good. Yep, yeah, you're somewhat right. But see, here's where you're wrong. You on the microphone, but you ain't saying the right things, partner. You ain't saying the right things. Here, let me help you out. You and your colleagues, you and your friends downtown, Minnesota, you guys are the real terrorists. What's happening in your city is a result of your failure. You've allowed your community to be terrorized for years and years. And see, it's not my opinion. Let's pull up the service records of all the police officers in the state of Minnesota. And let's go public with that and show the American people exactly what your officers have been doing to the community. It's not my opinion. It's a fact. I can line excuse me, I could put a thousand people in a room, strangers, and I can ask how many of you have had bad experience with the police? And you know how many gonna raise their hand? All of them. See? The riot, the, 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 the looters and the, the, the riot stuff? Nah. Those ain't the bad guys, really. Those are the victims. You guys hand out felonies like like it ain't shit, like slices of pizza. And you don't discriminate what age, you just give felonies out. You don't realize how many homes you destroy when you allow your officers to run through the community and arrest young black and Hispanic men for small petty crimes. You don't understand the pressure and the amount of loss you allowed to happen in your community and then when you take and destroy and incarcerate these people they left with nothing they come home to nothing and and a lot of people shouldn't even be going to jail all across the united states i was in handcuffs for jaywalking yeah jaywalking mm-hmm You guys are the real problem. You allow people to come out of high school and pick a gun up and then go in your community and call themselves police officers. You allow people to patrol neighborhoods that they never should be in. And it's not because, I'm gonna say it, it's because of who they are, their background, and they're not familiar with who they're trying to patrol. We need to have more qualifications in place to be an officer. You need to have some type of degree in uh, uh, just dealing with people, have some type of degree in negotiating, have some type of uh, 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 background in dealing with the community, how to interact with communities. When you guys show up to a scene and it's threatening, it could be one person. You guys will pull up with 12 officers and every last one of y'all will pull y'all gun out. And guess what happens? Now you guys become an execution squad. Because see, every last one of your officers will open fire if the situation jump off where they feel they need to open fire. You don't need to have 12 police officers shooting at one suspect. What's wrong with having seven of y'all show? Because y'all know y'all like to show up all deep. What's wrong with having all eight of y'all show up? 
and maybe having two, maybe three designated shooters. The rest of you guys, you shoot if it's really needed. But you don't, all y'all don't need to open fire. All eight and 12 of y'all? What the fuck? That's an execution squad, homeboy. You need to change policies. You need to get professionals out there with some education behind themselves. So, when you talk about people being a terrorist in your community, your community are, is, is victims of your terrorist act. Pull up the service records. Go public with the service records. That's what we want. We don't want no third degree murder. We don't want him in jail because yeah, that, that's cool. But that ain't gonna do nothing for us tomorrow. We need some policies that's gonna change. That's gonna give us a different result and a different future. But as I speak today, your city, you did that. Because you know why? The officer that killed that man had 18 infractions on him and only two of them were addressed. So if he had 18, imagine what all the other officers got. So you talk about terrorists? Nah, partner. You and your colleagues are more terrorists than the community. Yes. Yes. And the sad thing about it, uh, if you do hear this, you couldn't tell your vice, you couldn't tell your advisors, you couldn't tell the chief. You, you have no idea how many infractions and complaints have been turned down by the community. And let me help you out. If someone takes the time to go down to the police station and write a report out, a place that nobody wants to go, who got time to be fucking with the police? But if a person takes the time to go down there and write out a report, trust and believe me, it's not about how they were talked to. It was how they were treated. And for you to turn your back on it, that's you turning your back on your city. So the mayor, governor, and every last one of y'all, you turned your back on the city before the city turned its back on you. And it's not my opinion. Pull the service records up of every last officer you got in that state and you look at the infractions that you have turned your back on. Get back at me. We waiting.